Hey guys, MVC here for the Scan Pro Gaming to have for a quick tip for those NVIDIA users out there. So essentially, if you ever find yourself cloning your display, so whether it's your TV across the room and occasionally you like to play from the sofa or bed, and rather than playing with extended monitors and choosing which monitor the game outputs to, you simply clone the display. Or if you travel to an event and the monitor sat on front of the desk facing the audience, uh, in order for that to actually display your game, the monitor has to be cloned. Or whether you've got an internal capture card that you may be game from another computer and clone that display to the capture card too or if it's in your internal PC that you actually play on and you simply clone the display that way to try and get a few more frames per second this is definitely going to apply so once you clone the display you have to do it within the NVIDIA control panel by the way and this might also apply to AMD users but I don't have an AMD card to actually test for this so you'll have to do your own comparisons but once you've cloned it make sure you right click and select the clone source as you can see on the screen now to the primary display you're going to be gaming on. This is because that display will have the lowest input latency and any screens that are being cloned from that one will have input latency increased by about 10 milliseconds. Now, the method of testing was is not the most accurate one, but both monitors are at 1080p 144 hertz. Both monitors have the direct drive or the instant mode function to reduce the input lag of monitor processing enabled. Therefore, they should both be running at about the same speed. But regardless, once you change clone source from A to B and B to A, A to B, B to A, the plus 10 milliseconds follows suit. So this plus 10 milliseconds is definitely very much present. And if you do not have the primary display as the clone source, you're going to be getting that plus 10 milliseconds from your mouse to it appearing on the screen in affecting your gameplay and that's not what you want to happen so that's my quick tip of the day make sure you get that sorted if you do find yourself cloning the display you always want to have the fastest responding monitor particularly if you've got a gaming monitor and you paid for these kind of features you don't want something as little as this affecting it so i don't know how long this has been present in the nvidia drivers but it is definitely very much there and i hope you appreciate the tip so i've been mvc here for the scan pro gaming tab and we'll catch you next time take care